Um, first, this, uh, this life lesson is kind of what you expect after you leave camp. Um, expectations. So you come to camp and we really worked hard on your game. We gave you a lot of knowledge this week. It's going to be up to you what you do with it. Remember when I told you that things become, 70, become much more aware, 75% more likely to happen when you write it down. Okay, that's important. So what I would suggest is you go home tonight and you take a journal out and you write the things down that you want to do. Write the things down that you've learned. That's going to be really important. And then remember, we're going to take some action steps on that. Okay? Things that I learned at camp. I need a bigger forehand. I need to get into the court more on my serve. I need to close in more on my volleys. Okay? That's the, that's the goal, okay? But then we're going to have to break it down and figure out how we're going to take action to make that happen. The other thing that happens sometimes, expectations, there's some people that become perfectionists, okay? That you say you leave camp and you feel like you played all this tennis and now you go home and a day or two or three later, you're playing great tennis, a week or two goes by and you start to fall back into the same old trap that you felt before you got here. You're going to have to figure that out. If you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen, okay? So you're going to have to figure out, if we're coming into fall, indoor season in, in September and October, how are you going to get indoor courts? The one biggest question that I get all the time is that, you know, I, I know how to call for a lesson, and I know how to call for a clinic because I just call the club, but how do I set up matches? How do I set up matches, coach? I don't know what to do. You need a call list. You need to find six, eight, ten people that you can play with, and you need to call them. You need to be relentless. Remember my life lesson, persistent without exception? You gotta persist without exception. I get this, well I made four phone calls and nobody wanted to play. Well did you call five, six, seven, and eight, and nine? And if they didn't work, did you call 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 on your list? Well I don't even have 14 names. Look around, you know, they might not be near you, but then ask somebody, ask your coaches at the club, ask anybody, hey I need a list of 15 people that I can play, will you help me? And uh, I can give you three. Go to another pro. I need 15 people of, uh, that I can play. So you've got to be relentless with that. I tell everybody that the one thing that I feel like our American kids are not doing enough of is playing enough matches. You need to play matches. All right? Does everybody understand that? Say yes. Yes. Repetition. One thing that we do well here at camp because we make you is repetition, repetition, repetition. Okay? That's how you get better. All right? You don't just do something and you know it just magically happens. Remember the, the three cornerstones. All right? Hard work is on that right cornerstone. It will not happen without hard work. Okay? I don't know one thing in life except that sign right there, that 180 million, right? That you know one person out of a trillion will win, right? That's the only thing that I know that you'll get without hard work. And good luck in winning that tournament. Good luck in winning that one. All right? So you really need to understand that whatever you want in life, whether you want great grades, whether you want to be a good tennis player, or whatever you want, you need to work hard. And that means to be single focused, all right? Does everybody understand that? Say yes. Yes. Create the expectation for yourself. I'm leaving camp. Now, what are my expectations? What do I want to happen with my game in the next couple weeks? What are my, my short-term goals? You should have three-month goals, six-month goals, one-year goals. All right? That's really important. Sit down with your parents, you know, whatever you can do, coaches. Sit down and say, okay, here's what I want to see out of my game. It doesn't always have to be ranking-based or anything. It could be, hey, I want my, my forehand to feel like when I hit it in a tournament or I hit it in a match that I know it's going in. I'm not nervous to hit it. I feel like I know it's going in. Those are the things that you've got to really focus on. I talked to a kid that was number 12 in the country, uh, his dad, this past weekend at Zonals, and he said he basically told me that every second of that kid's life is really disciplined. He's a great student, but he's a great tennis player. And, and remember my thing about time management this morning. You know, time management, you've got to manage your time. I know you guys like to do all the games and all that kind of stuff and the things that you have available to you, but you really need to understand what is out in front of you. What do you want? So when I was talking to that gentleman this weekend, he was just basically saying, look, I mean, he's lucky to have 15 minutes of spare time. He's, he's 11 years old. He's lucky to have 15 minutes of spare time a day. He's either practicing, he's working on his academics, he's working on his fitness, but he's decided he wants to be a great tennis player. So he's making the sacrifice. 
And I think that's what you guys have to understand too, is to be good at anything, you're gonna have to sacrifice something. Right? I know you you know want to go out and you have with your friends and do things and whatever, but if you want to get great at something, sacrifice the little things so you get big results. Okay? So you guys know what to do now. We've showed you the we showed you the way, but sometimes you come in and you get immersed in tennis and it's really fun. You leave and you go, okay, now what? It's easy to do when we run everything for you, but now you gotta go on your own. So we want you to have the skills and the, and the mindset to be able to go, okay. I know how to do this. I know how to, I know how to get better. A third of the time, you're going to do a fed ball drilling. And the, by the way, the fed ball drilling, if mom never played tennis in her life, mom never played tennis in her life, because I get this all the time, I have nobody to practice with. Okay? Mom never played tennis a day in her life. Can she do this? She's a practice partner. If she can throw a ball like that, she can be a practice partner. Dad can be a practice partner. Mom or your brothers can be practice partners, sisters can be practice partners. And you don't need to go out there and you know have a ton of dialogue. You know, you just need to practice. Okay? So you really need to think about this stuff, really let it sink in, go home tonight. You know, I call it mind dumping. Everything that's on your mind, get it out of your mind and on paper. And then it becomes 75% more likely to happen, and you guys will make it happen. Alright? You understand that? Say yes. Yeah. All right. How do you feel? I feel great. Oh, I feel so great. Ha! All right. Remember that I told you Michael Jordan, you know, he did a commercial a couple years ago and said, I failed over and over again, and that's why I succeeded. I failed over and over again. Don't let failure, don't let, you cannot fail until you quit. So, guys, I'm telling you, this game is a sport of a lifetime. You can get out of it what you put into it. Don't quit. Keep playing, keep practicing, practice more than anybody else, and you're going to get what you need, want out of this game and anything else you want in life. I want to tell you guys, if everybody could come back out, all the pros could come out here. You guys did an incredible, incredible job this week. I just give yourself a big round. I was so proud of you this week. You guys really trained hard. You did what we did, you, we asked you to do. You made eye contact with us, which you're going to do, right? All those that don't have your rooms in perfect order, you're going to do it because I have some parents here now that are witnessing it. You're going to make sure that you have order in your rooms, right? You're going to keep it that way. You're going to make eye contact with everybody. You're going to start opening doors for elderly people or when you walk into a restaurant, you're just going to open the door. You're going to say thank you and you're going to say please and that's what's going to build your character. You're going to keep that pyramid with you for as long as you can, all right? And you can write it down, you can do whatever, but I want you to refer back to that. Because at the end of the day, this game really taught us, all of us, how to be good people. And that's what we want from you. No matter how, what level you play at tennis, tennis can teach you a lot of beautiful lessons. All right? So we really want you to have good character. All right? That's really important. And I want to hear emails from your parents and say, oh my goodness, you know, Jonathan Smucker, I mean, he was, he, he's opening doors for everybody now. He doesn't know who to open doors for. He says he's like this, right? He is like getting, when a woman walks by or a lady walks by, he gets up off his seat. He offers her the seat at the airport. He's doing all kinds of things. Those are the stories that we want to hear, okay?